Carlos, good Shabbat. Hello. <laughs> That's a nice welcome. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Rosh Hodesh is the beginning of the month, and the full moon is always the 15th of a lunar month, because it wanes and waxes, or waxes and wanes. So what that means in Jewish time is, is we are exactly two weeks away from Rosh Hashanah. So, so we can say Shana Tov. If you haven't ordered your brisket yet, you're probably getting a bit too late. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that means. So we are celebrating in this week's leading up to our New Year and our High Holy Days, and we also are celebrating because it's Shabbat, we celebrate every Shabbat, and we're also celebrating because a very special young man is celebrating becoming Bar Mitzvah and Zayn Lav, and so we're looking very much forward to celebrating with him and his family. And we're going to begin our service, on, we're going to be using the old, the regular cedarine this evening, not the Elul one, uh, so if you have... There this in, underneath your seat. And we're going to begin on page 120, page 120. And I would like to invite the members of the Lob family, Zane and Jennifer and Isaiah and Joel, to come forward to lead us in Hadlakata Nerot in the kindling of the Shabbat lights. Brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we in our own day be among those who kindle light. Somebody want to step forward and light the candles? Maybe we should use that one for light. Do I look at the whole yeah. candle? Yeah. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who hallows, uh, hallows us with mitzvot, commanding us to kindle the light of Shabbat.
this young man becoming bar mitzvah this weekend, Zane. He definitely lights a light, just like our Shabbat lights whenever he enters a room with his sweetness and his kindness. We're going to join our voices in song tonight. You'll find words on page 128, page 128. <laughs> Wonderful to hear you all join your voices together in honor of Shabbat to welcome Shabbat and we are ready now to welcome Shabbat bride among us singing Lachadodi. you'll find the words on page 138 don't be surprised by the nine verses we're going to do verse 1 and 2 and then we're going to jump to verse 5 we're all going to rise and turn to face the entrance of our sanctuary welcoming Shabbat in among us, and uh, then we will conclude with verse nine. <laughs>
A psalm, a song for Shabbat. It is good to praise Adonai, to sing hymns to your name, almost high to proclaim your steadfast love at daybreak, your faithfulness each night with a ten-stringed harp, with a voice and lyre together. I have gl- you have gladdened me by your deeds, Adonai. I shout for joy at your handiwork. How great are your works, Adonai. How very subtle your designs. A brute cannot know, a fool cannot understand this. The righteous bloom like a date palm. They thrive in the cedar in Lebanon, planted in the house of Adonai. They flourish in the courts of God. And they still produce fruit. They are full of sap and freshness, attesting that Adonai is upright, my rock whom there is no wrong. On page 144, 144, please rise. Yitkadal ve yitkadash meraba Bealmadi vrachir utevi om lich malhute Bechaye hon of yome hon of haye de hol bet Yisrael Bagala bagala of his man karive himero Amen Ya heshme raba me vorach, le alla mulun me almaya, it barak, it barak, ve yishtabach, vit pa arvit romam, ve yit nase, ve yit hadar, ve yit ale, ve yit alak, shame de kudeshabarifu, le elam in kol birhata, ve shirata. Tush bechata ve nechemata Damiran bealma ve imeru Amen Yalalai lai lai Yalalai lai lai Yalalai lai lai Yalalai lai lai Yalla la he la la 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 Am I awake? Am I prepared? Are you listening to my prayer? Can you hear my voice? Can you understand? Understand? Am I awake? Am I prepared? Baruch Adonai, Baruch Ata Adonai, Al Hinu Mahalam, Ashir Bidvo Marvim Aravim, Behachma Poter Sharim, Vit Munai Mashene Itim, Umahit Hazmanim, Um Sader Et Hachvim, Bim Voter Barkia Kirzona, Bure Yom Valila, Goel or Mifne Hosha, Hosha Mipne or Marvim Yom Uven Lila, Mavdil Bin Yom Uven Lila, Adnai Tsavot Shemo. El Chayem Tamid Yimloch Elenu Leilam Ba'ed Baruch Ata Adonai Alevim Aravim We continue on page 150 Ahavat Olam Bet Yisrael Tanulima 
מקומנו נסיח בחוקיך, ונשמח בדברי תורתך, ובמצוותיך לעולם כבר. Standing on the party chores of history, we still believe what we were taught before we stood at Sinai's foot, that wherever we go, it is eternally Egypt, that there is a better place, a promised land, that the winding way to that promise passes through the wilderness, and there is no way to get from here to there except by joining hands and marching together. Israel. 
Join me, if you will, on page 160. Hush, give Adonai, Eloheinu l'shalom, behamitenu understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Adonai, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up, waiting to do your will. Baruch atah Adonai, hapore sukat shalom aleinu, v'al kol amo Yisrael, v'al Yerushalayim. Shamru ben Israel Hashabat Lasso dead Hashabat Let a door of Tamberi Tolam Shamru ben Israel So you're going to wonder why we take a deep breath and we sigh out loudly. That's to get rid of the week that was, all the stress. Are you ready? Shavat vayina fash. Now a breath in and a little sigh of joy for the rest to come and the celebration this weekend. Ah. Shavat vayina fash. Shamro ben Israel et Hashabat la sotet Hashabat le doro tamberi olam. On page 164-164, please rise if you are able. Adonai, 
of rest and renewal open our hearts to joy and our minds to truth may all who suffer find rest on this day may all who may all who suffer find solace may all who hurt find healing on this day may all who despair find purpose may all who hunger find fulfillment on this day and may this day fulfill its promise baruch atah adonai mekadesh hashabbat You are with us in our prayer, our love, and our doubt, in our, in our longing to feel your presence and do your will. You are a still, clear voice within us. Therefore, O oh God, oh God, when doubt troubles us, when anxiety makes us tremble, when pain clouds the mind, we look inward for the answer to our prayers. There may we find you in the courage, insight, and endurance. And then let our worship bring us closer to one another, that all Israel and all who seek you may find new strength. For your service. Baruch Atah Adonai, Sheot Halivad Haha, Beirana Avod. God of goodness, we give thanks for the gift of life, wonder beyond words, for the awareness of soul, our light within, for the world around us, so filled with beauty, for the richness of earth, which Day by day sustains us. For all these and more, we offer thanks. Baruch atah Adonai, atom shimcha ha'ulecha na'e lechodot. We're going to join our voices together tonight, this prayer for peace on page 178. 
page 178. Shalom Raham al Yisrael Amcha Tasi We're going to turn in our pseudorim and our prayer books now to page 371, 371, while we offer the Mishaberach, the prayer for healing. Mishaberach, Avotenu, Vimotenu, Avraham Yitzhak, Yaakov, Sarah, Rivka, Rachel, Valea, Hu Yivarech, Et Acholim. May the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless and heal all those who are ill at this time. And as we pray to God for healing, we mention Mary Salomon, Lenore Sorger, Francesco Catari, Miriam Dove, Carm Perry, Emily Appel, Eva Morris, Zahava Malka Sapir, Chuck Weinroff, Sinna, Noah Felix, Laura Katari, Frida Ravkina, Mikhail Ravkin, Gladys Mousley, Kara Carlo, Barry Pekulis, Daniel Loweth, Luriana Fell, Mariella Fortman, Shlomit Achiroli, John Gentles, Philip Shamas, Anna Herman, Mayor Burstor, Terry Konikoff, Michael Haar, Patricia Kilner, 
and Jory Corman. A Kaddish Baruch Hu, may the Blessed Holy One be filled with compassion for their health to be restored and their strength to be revived. May God swiftly send them a complete renewal of body, mind, and spirit, and we say together, Amen. We'll sing out our blessings with the words in the middle of page 371. May the source of Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Welcome to everyone, and Mazel Tov to Zayn. You did a great job so far. We're just beginning. Yay. Our parasha, our Torah portion this week, called Ki Tavo, opens with a description of an ancient ceremony which was called Bikurim. With the Bikurim ceremony, each year at the beginning of the spring harvest, Interesting, later on it became associated with Shavuot, which is summer, but originally it was given that at the spring harvest, Israelites from all over the land of Israel would make a pilgrimage to Jerusalem to bring the first fruits of their crops to the temple as a korban, as a sacrificial offering. When the offering presented to the Kohen, to the priest, with their basket of fruit, they would make a declaration which began, I acknowledge before the eternal God that I've entered the land that Adonai promised to our ancestors, and then the offering would be accepted by the priest. I acknowledge before the eternal God that I've entered the land that Adonai promised to our ancestors. Well, about a thousand years ago, a person who had converted to Judaism by the name of Ovadia wrote to the Rambam, to Rabbi Moses Maimonides, who was the leading scholar, smartest Jew in the world at the time. And Ovadia asked the Rambam whether it was permissible for a convert to participate in the Bikurim ritual and to make this declaration, because after all, God had not promised the land of Canaan to Ovadia's ancestors. His ancestors were not Jewish. Well, Maimonides wrote back quite quickly to Ovadia, and he said, and I quote, anyone who accepts Judaism and acknowledges the unity of God is considered a disciple of Abraham, our father. They belong to Abraham's family. And so it follows that Abraham is the father of all people who follow his ways. You should therefore say, our God and God of our ancestors, since Abraham is your ancestor. Maimonides made it clear that Judaism is not defined by race or family of origin, but by creed and by practice, by faith and belief doesn't matter whether you were born to two Jewish parents or one Jewish parent 
or just stepped out of the mikvah yesterday, doesn't matter. One who has converted to Judaism, just as one born into Judaism, is completely and fully a member of the tribe. Not just an adherence to the religion of Judaism, but also a full member of the people of Israel. All of us, all of us are the children of Abraham and Sarah. If Maimonides was alive today, and if he was, he'd still be the smartest Jew in the world. But I believe he would have answered the question a little bit differently. I believe he would have addressed his letter not only to those Jews who embrace Judaism through conversion, but to those born into Judaism as well. For today, far too many Jews of all origins live on the periphery of Jewish life. People wonder, do I belong here? Am I a hypocrite for attending services just once or twice a year? Am I truly part of the community? And Jews of color, LBGTQ plus Jews, and Jews who voice concern about some of the actions of the modern state of Israel, they especially can struggle with finding their place in the Jewish community. Like Avadia, they wonder whether Judaism belongs to them. Or perhaps said better, they wonder whether they truly belong to Judaism. Well, if Maimonides was writing today, he would have told them, you, if you are here today, then you belong here. And if you are not here with us, we invite you to join us. You are part of our people. We have a shared history and a shared destiny. We welcome you and embrace you no matter what you believe wherever you are on the spectrum of Jewish life, and no matter how you feel. As we begin in just two weeks tonight, the Jewish New Year, and we begin to regather our community, our temple community, for another year of Jewish life, Jewish living, Jewish activity, it is essential that we find ways to make every Jew feel at home when they walk into our synagogue. It's been a rough couple of years, but after all that, we need to reach out to everyone, familiar or not, veteran members of the community, new members of the community. We need to make everyone feel welcome in this, the home of their ancestors. No Jew should ever feel like an outsider when they walk into the temple on Shei Sholom. And let me correct that. No person should ever feel like an outsider when they walk into Temple Anshe Shalom. Ken Yehiratsan. Amen. In honor of the Shabbat, in honor of Zayn becoming Bar Mitzvah, I'd like to share a song with you. Shir Chadash, a new song. On page 648, at the back of the Siddur, you'll find many songs, and there on that page you will find the one based on Psalm 96, one of our Shabbat songs. We'll join in this way. Continue now in the middle of page 586, page 586. And again, if you're able, please rise for the Elena.
Alenu le shabe ak la don ha kol la teit gedul aliot se beleshit shelo asanu kigoi aratzot velo samano kamish bachot adama shelo sam chelkenu kahem vegohar alenu kechol hamonam va anachnu korim. O mishtachavim umodim, lifne melech malchei hamlachim, hakadosh baruch hu, shehunot eshamayim veyosed haaretz, umoshavi karo bashamayim mimaal, ushkinat uzo, ushkinat uzo, vegofe meromim, O Eloheinu ve'enod, Hemet malkeinu efesulato, Kakatu betorato, V'yadata hayom, V'yadata hayom, V'hashibota eleva v'cha, Ki Adonai hu ha'elohim, V'ashamayim ima'al, Our thoughts turn now to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people whose graves are unmarked, and those of every race and nation whose lives have been a blessing to all of humanity. As we remember them, we meditate on the meaning of love and loss life and of death. At this time we remember Joel Malka who passed away during the last month during Shloshim and those whose yard site occurred during this past week. Albert K, Andrew Silver, Beatrice Dahan, Bessie Lesser, Bessie Robbins, Brian Ager, Burton Wigdor, Ida Balatsky, Joseph Christenfeld, Marie Alice Jones, Marilyn Wasserman, Marvin Stringer, Rose Bader, Shirley Bowles, and Viola Jaffe. Zichonam levracha, may the memories of the righteous be for all of us as an abiding blessing. As we remember and praise God with the words of the Kaddish Yatom, the Mourner's Kaddish, which can be found on page 598, page 598. Yitgadal v'yitkadash shamei rabba, v'yalma divrach hirute v'yamlich malchute, Chayachon, Viomachon, Chaye, the whole Beit Yisrael, Bagala, Zizman, Kari, Vimru, Amen, Yehe, Shme, Rabba, Mivarach, Leolam, Ome, Omaya, Yit Barach, Vishtabach, Vipar, Vitromam, the Nase, Yit Adar, Vitale, Vitalal, Shme, Kudisha, Brechu, Leela, Miko, Berchata, Vashirata, Tushbachata, Venechamata, Damiran v'oma limru amen. Yehe shlom o rabba min shemaya. V'chaim aleinu v'yau kol Yisrael v'imru amen. Vosei shalom v'imromav. Hu yaase shalom aleinu v'yau kol Yisrael v'imru amen. May the source of peace send peace to all those who mourn and comfort to all those who are bereaved among us. And we say together, amen. Please be seated. And I'd like to invite Ms. Enid Aaron to come forward to share with us some announcements. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. It was indeed a delight to uh, meet the Lob family at the Yannick Shabbat, especially Zane and especially the delightful little chap with the curly hair sitting in the front row. 
Our celebration of Shabbat and our celebration of Zain love becoming bar mitzvah will continue tomorrow morning. Join with Rabbi Cohen in the library for Torah study at 9 a.m. Our Shabbat morning service will begin at 10.30 a.m. here in our sanctuary. You are welcome to attend both of these sessions in person or online. Rabbi Cohen is offering the second session on preparing for the High Holy Days on Monday, September the 11th, beginning at 7 p.m. Join with the rabbi for meaningful insights and exploration of the themes of the Days of Awe. The month of Elul is the time to prepare. You can join in person, in the library, or online. Temple Atshasholom and Sharei Beth El Congregation of Halton will be joining together on Saturday, September the 9th for our Slichot study and late night service. We begin at 8 p.m. with a potluck dairy vegetarian dinner, followed by a viewing of the Emmy-nominated documentary, 18 Voices Sing Kol Nidre, Afterwards, we will gather on the bima to change our Torah mantles to white and then continue with the moving slichot service. Be sure to join us for this fascinating and meaningful beginning to the days of awe. All are welcome. Mazel tov to Zayn Lob on becoming bar mitzvah, and thank you to the Lob family for sponsoring our Anik Shabbat this evening in honor of Zayn. Thank you to James Miller for managing our streaming equipment this evening, and to Rhonda Dahan for serving as our Zoom host. Your efforts are deeply appreciated. And remember, if you are marking a significant occasion or want to remember or honor someone special, please consider sponsoring an Anuk Shabbat. Contact the Temple office for details. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. And I want to share a little tidbit of news because this is very exciting for me. Maybe it's just because I'm a rabbi, I get excited about these things. Uh, we are, as Enid mentioned, going to be celebrating um, Slichot here at Anshay Sholom uh, with Shari Beth Al Congregation of Oakville. Um, and we're also going to be joining the Shari Beth Al Congregation uh, to celebrate uh, Simchat Torah this year, um, which is, uh, I know we've got to get through. Slichot and Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur so and Sukkot. Before we get to Simchat Torah, I'm excited about joining with them on the, it's a Friday night, it's a Shabbat. Um, but I'm really excited um, to share the news that uh, we are acquiring a new Torah scroll. Um, it is a scroll that comes from the, the Memorial Trust in London, England. It's a scroll that is over 200 years old. And, um, and it survived the Holocaust in, um, in Prague and in London. And it's been with the congregation, the B'nai Tikva, in Niagara Falls for a number of years. Uh, they sadly, unfortunately, have had to sell their building and are clearing out their stuff. And so uh, the Memorial Trust uh, approved for us to receive that Torah scroll. So on Simchat Torah morning, um, and I know it's not Thanksgiving Day long weekend, but don't go out of town. You want to stay here for this. <laughs> on Simchat Torah morning, Saturday morning, uh, members of B'nai Tikva and uh, members of Temple Anshir Shalom will gather together. And just as Jews around the world are celebrating Simchat Torah, uh, we will be welcoming our new scroll with a Hachnasat Torah, or a receiving of the Torah. Um, and we will be able to uh, dance with all of our scrolls that morning. And so we really plan on trying to be here to help welcome our new, our new old Torah scroll. And it's going to go into the main ark, the ark of the main sanctuary. And one of these scrolls is going to be relocated into the ark that we had installed some years ago in the library. But most of the time, that ark's been empty. So now that ark will have its own Torah scroll as well. So, so I'm excited about that. Anything you're excited about, Kante? I'm really excited that Carrie Snyderman is going to come up. I know Carrie Snyderman is going to come up, but first Zane Lobb has to come back up to yes, the BMF. that's true. And I'd like to invite Carrie <laughs> Posner Snyderman to make a presentation to our wonderful Bar Mitzvah on behalf of the Devorah Sisterhood. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get out of the way.
Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Zain, Yashar Koach. You led tonight's service beautifully, as I had no doubt. You have been a spectacular light in so many of our lives for so long. Tonight is such a thrill for me. But I also know it's a thrill for your family. So muzzle tuff to everyone celebrating how amazing you are tonight and always. Um, Okay, Anche Shalom's Deborah Sisterhood was the first group of Jewish women organized for charitable purposes in Canada. Over 170 years ago, our sisterhood was formed, and since then we have led with the mission to enhance and support all aspects of temple life, socially, financially, and spiritually, and by presenting gifts to our bar and bat mitzvahs. Tonight is my honor to present you with this Kiddush card. I've even shrunk it for you. <laughs> um, it is presented to you on behalf of the DeBoer Sisterhood. We hope that you use this cup as you celebrate and observe all the milestones that are ahead of you, and that it reminds you of this Shabbat and how much pride you bring to all of our hearts. Mazel Tov, sir. Mazel Tov. Carrie, thank you. My pleasure. Let's just put that down on your chair. Brothers and your cousin, come on up here as well. Yes. Come on up. I'm also going to ask for uh, assistance from Ethan and Kiana, if you don't mind. Come on up. Tonight, instead of hollow buns, we have pieces that are torn. Blessing first, but the cantor is occupied. All right, uh, you have the cup. Please rise. Please rise for the kiddush. By a hiri boker yom hashishi, by a chulo hashemayim v'haaretz v'chol tzavam, by a cholo lugim biyom hashvi melakto asher asa, by shvot biyom hashvi imikom melakto asher asa. By Varech Elohim at Yom Hashvi Iv Kadesh Oto, Kivo Shabbat Mikom Lakto Asher Brokim La Aso, Baruch Atarunai, Eloheinu Melech Aholam, Orei Peri Hagafen, Baruch Atarunai, Eloheinu Melech Aholam, Asher Kirishan of Mitzvotam, Peratza Bahalanu. Shabbat Kodesho Be'alava Ufratzon Kinyilanu Zikaron L'Mase Bereishi Ki Hu Yom Tehillah Siyat Mitzrayim Ki Vanu Vachata Be'otanu Ki Dashta Mikol So, so, uh -huh. not okay. your favorite vintage. <laughs> and we have some pre cut hollow pieces tonight that are going to go around. Oh, hang on. I've got to get this out of the bag. <laughs> it's a little more challenging than usual. Oh, 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 oh,
Shalom, everyone. Shalom, everyone.